Smoke can be seen for miles after a fire gutted a building in Jackson this afternoon, and you can really see why. Check out this drone video from someone that got it from the scene. Yeah, crews are still on the scene some six hours later, knocking out hot spots near the intersection of Cooper and West North Street after battling the blaze since noon. That's right. Josh Sanchez is here for you now with more on the response. Now, Josh, what are you hearing right now? Yeah, that's right, Sherry Siobhan. You can still see that hazy, smoky air uh, in the area as well as there's uh, actually ash uh, all around the street outside of the building. And in the last few minutes, we've seen fire crews from around Jackson County pack up as well as readjust their crews uh, to go inside into the building to double check for any hot spots. Now, let's go back to that uh, video as well. That that, that just shows the massive size of the smoke coming from this building. Now, online records show that the building was a factory site for Airmaster, which produces fans. City officials called the building vacant and a sign outside had it ready for auction. We did reach out to that auction firm, but they have yet to uh, get back to us. Now, some people have called the building a part of Jackson's past and are shocked to see it go. Yeah, it was hot. I live over at Argyle right by the dollar store. You could feel the heat clear over there from it. I mean, it was massive. It was burning big, but they had a lot of stuff stored in there. It was full of barrels of everything. Okay. And it's a shame. That's a piece of history, but. Now, we also did reach out to the state's environmental agency, and in the last few minutes, they did get back to us on our request for records on the site. They did tell me that the building was listed as contaminated for chlor chlorinated solvents. They don't believe that the vapors are flammable, but that is part of uh, the things that will be considered during the investigation. Now, city officials say crews have been monitoring air quality around the site and have not seen any immediate health impacts, but they are suggesting that if you do live nearby the site here and have concerns about air quality, that you should keep your windows closed and turn off any AC units. Here for you in Jackson, Josh Sanchez, 6 News.